In this video, you'll see how to provision resources on AWS using a CloudFormation resource type provider for Terraform. With this solution, you can pass product parameters to Terraform, provision Terraform resources on AWS, and manage resources as a group using AWS Service Catalog. Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool that some organizations use instead of CloudFormation to manage and deploy resources on AWS. To enable the Terraform reference architecture, you must deploy a Terraform server using a CloudFormation template. This page on GitHub provides complete documentation and instructions on configuring your AWS environment with the Terraform reference architecture. The reference architecture provides examples of how to create service catalog products that invoke a custom resource to provision Terraform config files using Terraform. To get started, you must have either a new or existing Terraform server deployed and available. In this case, let's deploy a new Terraform server. This link in the GitHub documentation provides a shortcut for configuring and launching the CloudFormation stack for this solution in your AWS account. Accept the specified URL for this template and proceed to the next step. Optionally, you can choose a different name for your CloudFormation stack. Next, configure the required parameters to deploy the Terraform server. You'll need to provide an existing Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2, key pair to access the server with Secure Shell, or SSH. Optionally, you can change the username and SSH port values. In this case, retain the default values. Next, specify the security group for this server. Finally, provide the subnet ID value. Proceed to the next step. On this screen, you can configure additional stack options. For our purposes, let's move on. Review the stack details, select the Acknowledgement checkbox, and then create the stack. After a moment, refresh the Events screen to verify that the stack has been created successfully. Let's take a look at the Resources tab. Here you can see all the resources that were deployed as part of the CloudFormation template. Now let's navigate to the EC2 Management Console to confirm that the Terraform server deployed. As you can see, the Terraform server is now deployed and running. Next, let's navigate to AWS Identity and Access Management to confirm that the roles needed by the Terraform server to operate were configured. Here you can see the properly configured roles and their trusted entities. Next, let's head to the S3 Management Console. A holding bucket created by the CloudFormation stack contains the script that will be run on the Terraform server to finish the custom resource type configuration. Let's quickly review what this script does. After configuring some initial parameters, the script generates an SSH fingerprint. This fingerprint will be used by the custom resource to connect to the Terraform server when managing AWS resources. Next, the necessary Terraform configuration and sample files are copied into an S3 bucket. Then, the Terraform infrastructure custom resource type is registered with CloudFormation using the configuration files we just copied to S3. The default version of the custom resource type is then set. Finally, a CloudFormation stack is deployed that creates a sample portfolio in Service Catalog. We'll review that portfolio in a moment. Now, let's return to the CloudFormation stack and look at the Outputs tab. This tab contains information you'll need for configuring the Terraform server. Note the public DNS name of the Terraform server. Also note the setup script that you'll need to download and run on the Terraform server. Now you can connect to the Terraform server and use it to create the Terraform custom resource type. Connect to the Terraform server via SSH, using the same key pair specified earlier when deploying the CloudFormation stack. Next, run the command we saw earlier to download the configuration script. Set the appropriate permissions for the script so it can execute. Now run the script to begin the configuration. 
When the sample portfolio has been created in Service Catalog, the script is completed. One final setup step needs to be done outside the Terraform server, updating the SSH key value for Terraform in the Parameter Store. To get started, navigate to AWS Systems Manager. Open the Parameter Store. Select the Terraform SSH key parameter. Click Edit, and then paste in the real value for your SSH key. Now return to CloudFormation. Let's review the custom resource type that we have created. Locate it by filtering to Private Resource Types. CloudFormation will use this custom resource to communicate with the Terraform server using the SSH protocol. Now let's navigate to AWS Service Catalog. Here you can see the sample portfolio that was created. Administrators can organize products into portfolios and apply constraints and tag options, which end users can then launch. Product parameters are passed to Terraform, resources are provisioned using the Terraform AWS provider, and the resources are tagged and collected into a resource group managed with Service Catalog. In this case, there is just one example product in the portfolio. Let's drill down and review the template for this product. This sample CloudFormation template is the key to this solution. It acts as a proxy to Terraform and uses the custom resource type we configured to communicate with the Terraform server. Using this solution, IT cloud engineers can use Terraform to deploy and manage resources on AWS. You've just seen how to provision resources on AWS using a CloudFormation resource type provider for Terraform. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.